guys so I've been getting like stupid amounts of questions uh, about the too many cooks and I really wanted to answer all of them I couldn't really get to all of them I answered a lot on reddit there are some on Twitter because I have one now <laughs> um, and like a couple on tumblr I answered those if you want to go to my tumblr and look at them so some people suggested that I do an AMA on Reddit talking about like my experience working on it and I was like I could or I could make a video because I don't feel like typing to everyone you know talk out loud and be just as awkward also someone sent me five dollars to buy two tacos which is probably single-handedly the coolest thing ever so um Bought the tacos and got fire sauce and this is oh not my first rodeo. Rodeo. Anyways, I mean what's the point of having a freaking taco if there's gonna be no fire sauce on it? I mean that's just like sacrilegious. Okay, questions. How exactly do they explain the concept of the video to you? Awesome Laura Croft cosplay, by the way. Oh thanks. I misplaced my necklace. And I ran out of fake blood. Someone know this is my cosplay. Your glasses goes up. This is literally the synopsis they sent me when I was sent the audition for this. It was, it is a one-off quarter hour sitcom which features the world's longest sitcom theme. The show introduces us to the Cook family, their neighbors and friends, while a scary mysterious man starts to create havoc in the background of the intro theme. So like, imagine my surprise. When I show up and I'm like, oh, okay, cool, there's like a dude in a lizard suit and a robot. And things that aren't at all what I thought. Thank you! I love Laura Croft because I love the new Tomb Raider. I kind of was a Tomb Raider fan before. I didn't hardcore play the older games, but then when the new one came out, I was like, oh, she looks cool! Because she looks like a normal fucking person. And not some you know, pixelated, pointy-boobed bitch. Next question. I'm glad you're not murdered. Me too. That's not a question, but hey, might as well respond. Taco! Can you explain what the atmosphere was like when shooting this? Also, how did you even sign up for this kind of thing? Well, I have an agent, and so I got the audition through them. The casting directors for it, they went to my agency and they were like, hey, can you can you submit some actors for this, for this thing we're shooting? And they were like, yeah. But the atmosphere was awesome. Everyone was so cool and chill and I loved it. And the way decisions were made was so, like, chill, I guess. Um, they'd be like, yeah, let's put this, no, 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 let's not put that person, let's put the robot in. That's better, that's more fun. Yeah, that's funnier. I think, yeah, I think that's, you know, whatever. It's gonna be on 4 a.m. anyway. Katie, is that you? Yes. Was this shot in California? No. It was a uh, shot in Atlanta. What's your opinion on the number of cooks involved in this production? An adequate amount? Hmm. Could use more. Is Smarf as laid back as people say he is? Well, I mean, there's times where he can be kind of a diva. But it's just because of his addictions. We were really trying to work with him on that. We had an intervention recently. And uh, I think things are going to go really up well for him. But normally, lately, he's been super chill. And so things are really rooting for him. Have you thought about doing more risque cosplay? Nah. I don't really do fan service. I just, you know, I make sure to try to keep conservative and cover up. Because I'm a lady. I'm not really sure if you can get more risque unless you want me to be like a cosplay stripper. Deviant cosplay, I think, is a people, girls who do that. So if you're interested in like nudie girls and cosplay, you should check that out. <laughs> hey, do you do porn or cam whoring? No. I don't. I considered like 
cam whoring once in my life because I was like, that's so weird. It's like being a stripper or something, but like, not in a strip club. Which I've never been a stripper either. I've never done anything naked. Shower. I do that naked. That wasn't very funny. What was the murderer's name? William Tokarski. He's an Atlanta actor. Like me. Do you hate your floating name for giving you away? Yes. I'm very upset because when they told me when I got the part that I was like the horror movie survivalist like type, of course I'm gonna assume I'm the survivor. They were like, no, 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 you die. And I was like, no, I wanted to live. I wanted to be the person that lives. But no, no one survives, not even Smurf. Just one cook too many. Oh my God, are you single? Yes, I am. Wanna go out? I hear I like tacos. I pretty much got like just multiples of those questions over and over again. So now you know if you watched this, hopefully you did. It's possible none of you care anymore. Cause that's how internet fads go. Relevant for a day and then you disappear forever and I'm like, oh, okay, bye. I'm gonna use this opportunity to make more videos. So if you want, you can follow me on Twitter. I don't know why you would. <laughs> or Tumblr. If you love anime and video games, follow me.